Hello, Leslie here from Message in a Fold, and it is Friday, and the temperature in Oklahoma City area is 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Holy cow, it's pretty cold. And my hairless head is not happy. So, <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Cindy Farmer's mother, Becky, for my hat. I appreciate you so very much. Every time I get a chance to say thank you, I do. We are going to go on to the second part of this envelope mini, the Kathy Orta style envelope mini. And uh, hmm, this is where things can start turning out pretty great. Uh, so, hey, let's come on down. Okay, the first thing we need to do is open the edges here on these two things. Right now, the only place that it's open is right here, but we're not going to use that. So I'll get out my paper trimmer and just... Just barely cut any off, and that opens this right here. And I'll do that with this one as well. Okay, now this may cause this center one to stick out further. But you know what? That's okay. This will just add a little bit of dimension. So you'll do that to all three signatures. At this point, Kathy Orta uses her uh, corner punch, corner rounder punch, and she uses the one fourth side. on all of the corners including these corners. Hmm, I have a little bit to cut off there. Okay. Just gonna try to be careful. Okay, this is going to get covered up anyway down here. Um, because right now this is all the way through. So I'm going to have this on there. I do, I do want to have this even. And I'll have to do that with the other two signatures. But right now I'm just going to use the corner rounder punch. So this is just a little subtle, it's just a little subtle rounded edge. And only on this outside edge, not, not over here. This paper pad is from Hobby Lobby and it's the Paper Studio brand. And it's called Mint to be Fab, and it's a foil one. There are 60 sheets in here, 
there's three of 20 designs. And again, it's 12 by 12. And um, from the previous video, I have cut this 12 by 12, one of each one of the designs, I've cut them in half at 6 by 12. So I have two piles to work from, but I'm going to work from one. I have a tip. You know, life kind of interrupts everything, and you get distracted, and, and for whatever reason you have to come back to this after some time, and you can't remember what your papers are going to be. In the middle, not anywhere on any of these edges that this is going to show, but in the middle, this is six and three fourths. Okay, four and three fourths that way, and six and three fourths that way. So make your mark like that. This one is four and three fourths both up and down and side to side. Four and three fourths. And then this one is three up and down and four and three fourths wide. So when you come back to this after you've been gone for a little while, then oh yeah, and then you can finish doing whatever you're doing. And then, of course, these long pages are the four and three fourths by six and three fourths. And you can go ahead and do that. So you'll know what your paper sizes are supposed to be. The colors in this particular paper pad are a, a white, kind of a pinky coral, and a turquoise and black. These are the predominant colors in this paper pad. I want to tell you why I do not use these uh, five by seven envelopes from Recollections. What she does, this would be easier because you don't have to make the envelopes. This is going to go like this. Okay, and then you have this big opening here. Right here, you have this big opening. Unlike mine, it's just a small area right here. Okay, this is a great big area here. So Kathy Orta suggests you use this foul, nasty monster. I hate this thing. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Um, so when you're using your decorative paper here, you run your tape, you, you run your tape along the side, here, here, and here, and then hot glue right close here to put your paper down. Yeah, no, that ain't gonna happen. No, no. Okay, for this page here, this one that's open on both sides, the envelope part, we're going to cut one of these, and I've chosen this one. This one is going to be six and three fourths inches long by four and three fourths inches wide. So I'm going to need my big trimmer. My four and three fourths. So this will fit on here, just like that. All right, so now I need, this one is, 
Where's my ruler? I've got it hidden. This is also going to be four and three fourths. And I think three inches. Yes, three inches. Four and three fourths by three. So what color do I want? You know, I think I might do... Yes, I will do that. Yeah, okay. This is going to go in here. And right now, those little ear flaps that I have right here from turning that under, So fold this one upwards. Come on, little guys. Tuck in there. And they're keeping things from sliding in. So I'm going to just put that down there like that. And then when I put a tag in, then it'll just go right in there without getting bunged up on on the little ears. All right, this one will be four and three fourths by four and three fourths. Okay, so this is going to go on here like that, and then this one here. So now, um, if you want, see that looks that looks kind of nice. Um, with this busy, super busy piece right here, I like this two-toned flamingo thing. This quieter one as the big one. So you see the colors and a little bit of sparkle from the foil. But this one is the big player. This one's the star. I need to use the one-fourth inch corner rounder on these two corners because be, because these corners are rounded and these are not I need to round these corners So that will go on just like that. And this one I round the bottom, the bottom only, and this one I round the top. So that will, this page will look like this. Okay, all right. So. I'm not going to let you watch me ink this. So. And now I'm going to put the adhesive on and get it as close. Okay, I've taken the backing, the tape backing off of this one. And I'm going to try and get this. close to even as I can and I am crooked. Now I do not want this on the fold. I want it up to the fold but not on it. And even though this is open here, unless you put something, unless you put something loose in here, it'll probably poke out just a little bit. Um, do you know, I'm not going to worry about anything falling out over there. I just am so excited that I don't have to use this 
flaming <laughs> tool. Okay. So then I'm going to put this on this one. All right, this one has the rounded corner at the bottom, so it needs to go over here, and then we'll try to get everything there. Okay, now this one, this one is going to be the booger, but only for a little while. Let me get the tape backing off. This piece has the rounded corner at the top. All right, so you need to pull this pocket a little bit and get your paper started in there. With the exposed adhesive, it's going to try to find a place to stick and it's going to sort of fight you, but you'll have to say, I'm the boss, not you and get it in there and try and get your fingers out okay and then stick that in there okay so here is one finished section. And you can use any of the papers that you like on this one. Now this one, again, we have two pages. So the papers, these are going to be six and three fourths by four and three fourths for both of these. On these, you are going to round these two corners, whoops, go back some. You're going to round these two corners and these two corners. And then these two. Okay. And then I'm going to ink the edges, put tape on the back, and then I'll be right back. Going. This is this is that open pocket thing. So this is going over here. Move it over just a little more. So now here are these pages that are covered. Now I need to close this off. These are these are our four inch scraps. Four and seven eighths is almost five inches. It's the last hash mark. There, it's this last big hash mark before five inches. Put it on the four inch mark. The four inch mark, put it there. Okay, now we're gonna score this at two inches. Whoops, I just went a little too deep in there. All right. And then we're going to use, I'm going to use my border punch. Now, when you fold this over, uh, these border, my border punches don't act, actually meet up precisely with the other side, but that's okay. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. All right, so when I fold this in half, see my things don't meet up. And that's okay. That is fine. Fine and dandy. 
what we're going to do now is I'm going to use liquid glue. Um, what's her name? Kathy Orta. She uses this foul instrument. No, I'm not. I'm not going to use that because I don't like it. So I'm going to use this liquid glue and I'm going to put Hmm. I think that got closed off. Okay. I'm going to put some liquid glue right on the fold. I don't know if you can see that because there's lighting in here. And I'm going to go just a tad above on both sides. And I'm going to go here on the edge and around that scallop on this side and this side and on this side and this side okay make sure I have the one I need all right I'm gonna fold this in half and then I am going to oh crapazoid 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 I forgot to round the edge. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'll have to do that after this dries. Okay, so now clean up any over of glue. This glue seems to dry pretty fast, so I'm just gonna go ahead and round my corner there. All right, so that's what it's gonna look like. Now this is a place for, this is a tuck point, a place for um, anything that you wanna stick down in there. And then for our next signature, am I right? Okay. For my next signature, now I need to get two papers that are going to coordinate. And I think I want to do some bold ones this time. Okay, so here's the front of this first signature. And here's the page and the pocket and the two pages. This back side, and this is the start of the next signature. So I'm just going to continue on with these until I get them done. Okay, so I have these three signatures covered except for the back and the front. I'm going to leave those blank. So here are, I'm going to turn this over this way, and maybe have you come in some. And your little tuck place over here. These and these will be for four by six photos. So here's the second, the start of the second signature. And once again, your pocket and tuck point. And the tuck point. Now, you're probably wondering, what would you do with something like this? You know, maybe, eh, I don't know what I want to do. Well, look, do you cook? Do you cook the Christmas meal? Are you the chef de cuisine for your home? Well, my husband Joe does the Christmas cooking, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. And so this is Christmas of 2007. And, oh, well, these are, okay, these are just, okay, here it is right here. All right. Well, he does, yes, he does turkey, everything. Well, he, I had so many pictures that I did not have room for everything. So I had to create, uh, let's see. 
I think this was, two, no, 2007, he was in the hospital with being treated with prostate cancer. So this was probably 2006. So I have um, little waterfall things here with his stuffing, what he does for his stuffing. And then all of the rest of the stuff, what he puts in it. And his salt and pepper and all of the things he does. And so this is for his stuffing. Now, on this little thing here, you could have a photo of the Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, or whatever. And in here, do I have some close at hand? Yes. Okay. Do you have a favorite recipe for something? Here's an index card. Stick that in there. Maybe two or three of them for some of your favorite things. And up here in this, where this tuck place is right here. Uh, let's see. You could probably have... What would you put on there? Maybe a photo of your favorite recipe. All right, that's about as far as I'm going to get today with this project. I hope you've enjoyed watching how to put one of these these books together uh, to decorate your pages and make little tuck points and just have fun making it, starting it off looking pretty. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, the next video, and I can't guarantee when it's going to be, the next video will be about creating the spine yeah the creating the spine to put these together so you can cover this last you can cover your last page and your front page and then it'll be about getting cutting these and covering them these these are the ones that get tucked into they get tucked into the pages, the envelope pages. And then if I'm feeling well enough, then we can probably get into creating these, these tags that go in the pockets. Oh, it's stuck in there good. So, so that'll be the next video. That might be week after next. It, it usually, sorry, it usually takes me, when I have chemo on Monday, it'll probably be Thursday before I even start feeling good. I don't know. So I might do something all over this next weekend. I don't know. But for now, this is this is what you're going to get. Watch Kathy Orta's videos if you want to go on by yourself and you don't want to wait for me to create the spine. I forgot to put the link like I said I would in the last video, so I've, I'm going to correct that. Um, yeah, jump ahead. Go check out Kathy's videos and, and her instructions on how to do this stuff. So you can get this done. All right, this is Leslie from Message in a Fold saying, are you getting excited about showing someone how special they are? Bye!